Hello small folks, Suro here. Welcome back to the channel. Today I'm gonna teach you how you can get flint and where you need to obtain it. Now flint is gonna be your first wall to get some of the better weapons in the game. So once you get some flint, you're gonna be moving along the game at pretty nicely and be able to defeat a lot of the mobs that are already in play. Fairly easy like these hornets, the bees, um, some of the beetles and things like that. You can defeat a lot of them pretty easily with the flint items. Now, where do you get flint? You actually have to go over here to this like coastline where the beach is. So if you pull up your map, you're going to be pretty familiar with the entrance area. By now, I'm sure you have the elder here, Hearn, and then if you set up a tree uh, base right here. Well, you want to go to the south part of the map. Now, I know it looks like I'm very advanced. I'm not. Like You can get to this pr probably within your first hour of playing this game. You do want to cross like a little tree bridge right here and then uh, just start making your way down south. As you unveil more of the map, you're going to see Scotty right here. So you can click on it, track him, go talk to him, and they are going to tell you to go to the Rhino Beetle and they're going to put another waypoint here. So this is going to be the first boss and you don't have to defeat him right away and you definitely won't be able to because he's pretty tanky. But all of this beach area right here is going to have flint. Now, I did not find any flint up in this area. That's not to say that there isn't, but I did look for quite a while. So you are going to want to make your way down here. So whenever you get here, you're going to see like a uh, robo over there on the coast. And uh, that's kind of where I farm a lot of my stuff. I did make a temporary base just over there and I put a bed down just so I make another spawn point because this area is pretty dang dangerous and you're probably going to die. So once you get in this location, you just want to head down the little ramp that's over here and I'm going to show you where the flint is and what it looks like. All right, once you make your way down here, you can just activate your little sense mode and you're going to see that flint is its own rock. So it looks like this. Uh, it kind of reminds me of like obsidian on Ark survival evolved. It's got a little shine to it And uh, yeah, you just break it with a regular pickaxe I'm using the flint pickaxe right now obviously because uh, I already upgraded But you can use the regular pickaxe and just start harvesting it Do keep in mind that, that the boss is going to be like right there So don't mess with him yet even when you get the flint tools He's gonna be pretty difficult So I would not go over there for a while and uh, just keep an eye out for the beetles and stuff. If you get in too much trouble, you can just run away. And if you're playing on peaceful mode, this is going to be uh, so much easier for you. Now, up here on this rock, it's actually quite a bit of flint. So you kind of have to just shimmy your way around it to get to the backside and uh, try to avoid that boss. So you can kind of go through over here and then get up top. And you're going to find bark and flint. So let's make our way over there. Now once you get up to the top there is going to be a green beetle. You can defeat him if you want or just avoid him. And as you see there's a lot of flint everywhere. And then right there is where you can get bark. So bark is going to take you to where you can upgrade your house. To get like uh, wood foundations and things like that. And you're also going to need bark for other recipes. So this is a great spot to farm up flint and bark. And then just down here there are a ton of flint along that. And there's a couple bugs and then some of the geckos and then you can just keep follow along the entire coastline and that stuff like flint is literally all over the place. Now once you gather up your flint I'm going to show you what you need to do with it and what you should craft first. Alright now that you have your flint go over to your stone cutter and this is where you're going to craft the flint item. So you have the flint hatchet which is going to be like your axe to chop down weeds and things like that. You have your flint spear. This is probably going to replace your wooden sword and it is a very, very powerful. You got 1622 pierce damage. And one side note is the rhino boss is really weak against pierce damage. So this is a great weapon for that. It's got 240 durability. Uh, critical chance is 5%. Stamina usage is 30 and blocking power is 8. So it's going to take fiber, resin, flint and refined wood. You also have the flint sword, which is edge damage, and it's about the same as the spear, except uh, if you want to fight a mob that has edge or is weakness to edge, then do that. If you want to fight a mob that's weak to pierce damage, then get that. And then you also have the flint pickaxe. I definitely recommend you grab the flint pickaxe first, just so you can harvest the flint faster. And also the bark, the tree bark that I showed you, can only be harvested with the pickaxe so if you go ahead and craft up this flint pickaxe you can kill two birds with one stone and get the bark and the flint on each of your run through there you have the flint shears which are going to be used later in the game to cut open spider cocoons 
And then you can also craft the blowgun whenever you do unlock your bark and you get bones by killing uh, geckos and stuff like that. So that's um, the majority of the upgrades when it comes to the stone cutter. And I would probably get the flint pickaxe first. And if you're playing on peaceful, go ahead and get the flint hatchet. But if you're not playing on peaceful, you might want to go ahead and pick up a, uh, a flint spear or a uh, flint sword to take care of the mobs down there if you're having trouble with that. But that is it. That is how you get flint in this game. I really hope you guys learned something. I hope you enjoyed. If you did, hit that like button for me. If you have any questions, let me know in the comment section below. I've been playing this game quite a bit and I have all the answers for you. So make sure you ask away in the comment section and I'll see you guys in the next one.